Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Ollie here. If you're new to the channel, my name is Olivia. I was born in Singapore, but I live in Switzerland currently. And this channel is all about travel in Switzerland and helping you to understand more about living in Switzerland. So in today's video, we're going to learn a little bit more about how to take public transport in Switzerland. I understand that for most of you coming to Switzerland, chances are you are going to take public transport and it can be quite confusing initially. So in today's video, I will show you everything from buying the tickets to going boarding the train train, what to take note of when you're inside the train and also on the buses and hopefully this will give you a clearer idea of how things are like in Switzerland and without further ado, let's get going. We're now right in front of the train station and I'm going to show you how it's like at the platform and when and what you should take note of when you're boarding. This is the entrance of the train station. Normally you will find a part with the ramp for people that are taking cramps or on wheelchairs and this is the part with the stairs both leads up to the platform they will also show the different trains that are coming and the voie, the platform number that you can walk so they will also give you the train information so for example I'm going to take um, this train that goes sorry I'm going to take this train that goes to Lausanne and this is the RE and it arrives at 7, 1706 and here they will also tell you in case that the train is cancelled or is replaced or if um, other information like if the train is late they will also indicate the information here as well Here's an example of how to buy the train tickets from the physical um, ticket machine. Let's say, for example, I would like to go to Geneva Airport. So I can choose whether I want to depart immediately or a later time. Let's say I want to go immediately and the route I'm choosing from. And if you want a single one-way ticket or a round trip. So let's say I just want a one-way ticket. Choose the class, I'm second class. And if you have a half a card, just choose this and then you can pay here uh, these are the different payment options you can use credit card or cash master visa there's no problem and then just tap your cards here or insert by coin and voila your tickets will appear here another way to buy train tickets is via the SBB app you can connect it directly to your credit card and then indicate the place that you would like to go to here it shows all the train timings simply just select the tickets and then for example i click on here and it gives you the different tickets and reservations that you can choose from for example day pass or um, if you just want a single ticket you just click on it and then it will automatically be purchased directly and then you show the verification code if the conductor comes on the app itself you always keep in mind like when you look at the signboard there are numbers that says number two those are second class and first class carriage is shown by number one. It's not super common for every Swiss train station to have lifts. Uh, most probably at the bigger train stations like in Geneva or in Zurich or in Bern, for example, they might have. But for the usual regional ones, it's not very common to have lifts. So if you're coming with bulky items, you should take the ramp down. It's usually located at the middle part of the platform. If you got a physical ticket, you have to find this orange machine. Uh, at the train platform to validate the ticket by inserting it inside so just take note because if you do not validate then the ticket is not valid so some people are quite confused at how to open the door you just have to press the button for this train it opens up like this There are usually some wider areas like this side for you to put your bulky luggages but you have to be very careful and you have to have your eyes on your luggage at all times because there have been instances where luggages have been stolen so just be especially careful Some people also put like their bags here in, in between the seats but I don't recommend it because unless you're watching it because some people can just grab it from behind you and then they leave so that was what happened to my friend so just be very careful with your luggage. The seats are very clearly indicated, so you'll see the number two, that's for second class carriages. And then the second class carriages, usually the seats are like bluish in color, and the ones for the first class are red in color. You can sit anywhere you want, there is no seat reservation required, just choose any seats that you like. This is um, the first class carriage, so you have to be careful, you cannot sit 
um, in the carriage that is different from the ticket that you purchased. If you bought a second class ticket, you have to sit in the second class one. And in this case, if this is a first class carriage, you, you, you can't have bought this one. This is the toilet of the train. It's quite clean already. I've seen worse. It's, it's okay. So, you know, they also have a diaper changing station. And this is the tap. And then you click here for the soap. And then you can wash your hands like this. It's automatic. And then if you want to flush the toilets, this is the sign for you. And you press this. And the toilet will flush. And then there's a hand, hand dryer here. To unlock the door, you just turn over the door. So some people do ask me, like, say, if you were to buy your Hafek card or your Swiss Travel Pass from external providers, like from Kiki Day or Klug, uh, does it show up on your SVB app? The answer is no, it doesn't. So in the event that you see a conductor and they request to check for your Hafek card or your Swiss Travel Pass, you have to show them um, the physical copy of through a PDF to show your your half card or your switch will pass but if you were to buy it from the SVP app the ticket itself it is in, inside your SVP app so for that you can show it directly through the app so take for instance I bought this train ticket from Geneva to Neon this is the train ticket itself it's not the half card for the switch travel pass for this if you were to buy it from the app then yes it shows the QR code and then you just present this um, when the conductor asks for it but then you show your travel passes separately at this point, if you happen to have any questions relating to the Swiss half right card or the Swiss travel pass, such as the cost, the differences and uh, the, the features and which one is better, make sure you check out the post down below because I've written a very detailed comparison guide between these two passes and also other tips such as uh, how to use um, the Saver Day Pass, uh, the Super Saver Tickets and also other relevant regional passes that could be uh, useful for your trip. So make sure you go check it out down below. If you're going to a city and spending the whole day there, it might be more worth it to get the daily ticket which is actually um, the full the, the ticket for the full day so you don't have to repeatedly buy single tickets. This ticket will last you for a whole day and you can take any public transport. So say for example, I click on this and I have a half fare card so I click on this and then this is the price you pay for the full day. So it's more worth it uh, to get the day pass as compared to buying the single tickets if you're spending uh, a lot of time in a certain city and you're taking the public transport for to different places. This is a typical bus in Switzerland. The funny thing is that you can actually come in from the back side of the train. There's no need to come in from the front. I found that quite I found it quite interesting. Every single stop has their name and it's very clearly and with that, we've come to the end of this video. I do hope that you find this helpful and let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions relating to taking public transport in Switzerland. That way, I can respond to you and also be there to help you out. Make sure you hit that like button and also on the subscribe button if you haven't. This will make sure that you will never miss out on my updates and also it will help out my channel a lot and I will really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!